Senator John Thune from South Dakota is a third-ranking Republican in the Senate. He was among a group of congressional leaders who met with the president on Friday. Senator, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Lester. Nice to be with you. Let, let's start off, if we can, with this uh, troop increase in Iraq. Did the president make a convincing argument for this additional 1,500 deployment? Well, I think that the, what the president and his team are, are looking at, obviously, the conditions on the ground, the limitations of air power, and the importance of getting uh, the Iraqi security forces, the Syrian uh, rebels, in more engaged in the in the ground campaign. And uh, I think that that's a request that will meet with uh, a good reception on Capitol Hill, Lester, simply because uh, most of us recognize that we're not going to be able to get this job done uh, without engaging and involving. Uh, those ground elements, and it certainly uh, prevents having to have American combat troops on the ground. Well, so then that's my next question. Did, did, he at least, did he at least crack the door open for combat troops? American combat troops? That, he didn't. He, he hasn't cracked that door open uh, in, in any setting that I've been familiar with, either private or public. I mean, he's very clear that uh, that's not and that's not where he wants to go. And I think the, um, you know, the effort to get the Iraqi security forces, which frankly we've done a lot of work on before, and, and fortunately the new government over there sort of let that, uh, that training effort uh, go by the wayside, really is something I think that can be helpful in terms of trying to push ISIS, push ISIS back out of Iraq and Syria and really isolate them. Well, let's talk about this meeting that you were a part of, the president meeting with congressional leaders. I know you had expressed some thoughts that maybe this was about optics, some stagecraft here. Give me the sense of the atmosphere in, in terms of what happens now post-election. Well, it's always, it's always a little bit about optics, as you know, in Washington. But obviously, I appreciate the fact that the president was reaching out to Senate and House Republicans and Democrats. It was a bipartisan meeting. But I think he wants to try and create the conditions that are in a foundation uh, of trust in order for us to get some things done. And so I'm encouraged by that. Uh, also, though, I would say at the same time, the message that we delivered to him was that it's going to make that very difficult if, in fact, he continues down this path of executive action. He's used that on a number of issues already, big issues, uh, and we think that's going to make it complicated to create a record of accomplishment on Capitol Hill legislatively if the president continues down the path of, ex of executive action. So it was a good spirit and frank discussion, which I think was beneficial both for us and hopefully for the president. He sort of heard where Republicans on Capitol Hill right. are coming from, but I hope we can you know, we can create a foundation to, uh, to actually get some things done. I think that's what the American people well, want to see. Well, let's talk about the American people. I think if there's any message that came out of this election, people really want you guys to get it together and, and, and play nicely together. <laughs> On that note, you're worried about the president taking executive action. He's worried about Republicans trying to uh, repeal o Obamacare. Are those not both issues that could, could send this in, into another divided period for the next two years? Well, and that's why I think, Lester, what I would hope is that we can take the things that we know there's agreement on. There's broad bipartisan support for a number of bills that have passed the House that are awaiting action in the Senate. The President's expressed an interest on trade policy. He's going to Asia this next week. That's really important to our economy. There's a lot of energy-related uh, things that we think there's broad bipartisan support for that would be really good for the economy. So if you're focused on jobs in the economy, which is where we think we ought to be focused, I think there's some common ground there. But if we go down this path of, of some of the more divisive issues, it's going to be difficult uh, to get that done. Now, having said that, I think there are certain elements in Obamacare, again, repealing the medical device tax, uh, restoring the 40-hour work week, where you'd have a lot of Democrats that would join Republicans in supporting that. But we all realize that for anything to happen, we've got to get a presidential signature. So he's got to be constructively engaged. Uh, yesterday's meeting, I think, was a, hopefully a first step in that. But I hope there are more meetings to follow and meaningful meetings. And I hope the president will work with the Congress and not against it in the days ahead. All right, Senator Jonathan, good to talk to you. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks, Lester. Nice to be with you. Okay.